hey guys what's up welcome back to my channel if you're new here i'm denise and if this is like your third or fourth video watching of me i hope you're subscribed and a part of the game i would like to get to I just came back from dropping you guys orders off but if you're following me on tiktok um you've been keeping up with the story about how i had a horrible experience going to get my hair done and how i'm basically getting ready to start i was already going to start like a 30-day challenge to teach everybody how to properly take care of their own hair but now i'm definitely doing it with you guys so i'm super excited um, I'll be finishing up the ebook. I was supposed to launch it on Friday, but I didn't. I'm not putting out no half nothing. I'm putting I'm putting the baddest heifers on the floor. So <laughs> I'm finishing up the ebook. I'm hoping I can have it out to you guys by Monday. Like I'm just tweaking some stuff. So hopefully by Monday we can all start the 30 day challenge together. So you guys can get all your stuff together, and we'll start on June first. I think that'll make more sense. Yeah. So. Um, like I said, if you're following me on TikTok, then you've watched like part one to four of my natural hair crisis that I'm having right now. And I, I didn't want to keep posting videos on TikTok because, you know, you can only have what a three minute video on there. And it's a lot that I wanted to say. So if you guys haven't seen it, go get yourselves caught up on my TikTok and then I'll finish the rest of the story here because it's it's still a little bit of a lot like <laughs> a little bit of a lot so if you're not on tiktok then i'll just do like a quick recap because i put four parts on there already but so basically i prepped my hair to go to a natural hair salon to get my hair done and everybody keeps asking me like you know how to do your own natural hair why would you pay somebody else to do your hair because i was trying to treat myself like like I said, wash days are like my self-care days. So I was trying to treat myself and have somebody else wash and massage my scalp. Like I love it when I do it myself, but imagine just relaxing your arms and having somebody else wash your hair and trim it for you. Like I did all the proper research and I thought that this girl was good. Like I thought she was good based off of her Instagram and her, her booking site it made it seem like she knew everything that I would need somebody to know when dealing with my natural hair, but I was so wrong. Like, so anyways, I get to the appointment, her assistant approaches me and the assistant is like, um, I'm going to be washing your hair and I'm not going to say the girl's name because like I, she, I'm not going to say her name, even though she made herself known like she exposed herself i had never had any intentions of exposing this girl because that's just not even my character but the job was horrible but anyways um i'm gonna just say her name is d so she like i'm gonna be washing your hair until d is ready or whatever or detangling your hair until d is ready i'm like all right that's cool sit down in her chair she's trying to detangle my hair but um she was having a hard time like but i didn't understand why she was having such a hard time detangling my hair when the literally two days before the appointment i literally detangled it from the root moisturized it and everything just to make sure that whoever was going to be in my head wasn't having a hard time dealing with it because i know how people are about natural hair if you don't have natural hair yourself they just don't know like that is certain ways to do stuff and uh, and going to cosmetology school and getting the license like somebody commented on my tiktok and it made a lot of sense it said cosmetology school teaches you enough for you to pass the state boards they don't teach you about textured hair so unless you have experience real experience dealing with natural kinky curly textures you have no idea how to deal with natural hair like you just don't and i really wish that they would stop like trying to hop on the fad because they feel like they missing money that's what it is a lot of girls are going natural and don't get me wrong there are still a lot of girls who wear weaves and everything else silk presses all of that do your thing i'm into all of that okay so i'm not judging nobody but 
if you're a natural if you're a hair a licensed hairstylist and you're promoting that you know how to do natural hair and you're offering all of these natural hair services and you don't even know how to properly detangle the hair you don't need to be in nobody's natural hair period all right so anyways because i'm rambling I'll, I'll do that quite frequently so the assistant starts the wash to detangle my hair and she's having such a hard time detangling my hair the owner of the shop she's like running around cleaning up which i mean i get it when you're the owner of the shop you wear a lot of different hats so i get it like you have the assistant do something but when it comes to natural hair if they don't know how to deal with it and if you're not standing right there by their side guiding them step by step i just don't think that they should be left handling with the hair so she's pulling and tugging my hair detangling it with a i think it was a dimming brush and i don't even use a dimming brush in my hair if i do use a dimming brush it's like when it's wet after i done went through the whole pro wash process and i use that to like define my curls but to detangle my hair absolutely fucking not i'm sorry i don't mean to cuss but absolutely no so that was the red flag so then she comes with the paddle brush and i don't really use a paddle brush to detangle my dry hair because my hair was dry at the time like i moisturized it two days before but when you're like trying to get in and detangle it how they were i wouldn't detangle my hair dry so i was upset about that and like i said on my tiktok i never said nothing because i'm not that type of person like well i am that type of person i know like my temper and how i can get so I choose my battles wisely and I'm sitting there and in my head, I'm like, okay, this shit hurts, but I'm not going to say nothing because I don't want to, I like it. I felt like if I would have said something and she would have got smart, they would have had to jump me in that hair salon because immediately the temper, like it's no in between with me. Like it's zero or a hundred. There's literally no like median. So I'm just sitting there. So the owner comes over, she starts detangling my hair with a paddle brush and she's telling her like, oh, her hair is thick so you can work in big sections and instead of going from the bottom, she well, she was saying start from the bottom up, but then she put her hand on my head like, or you can just put your hand right here and pull it straight down. Like, you yanking my hair out. Like you're literally yanking my hair out and then on top of that, it's dry. You're detangling dry hair. Like, <sighs> I just don't understand so they finished doing that we go back to the bowl and i'm thinking like okay now i was probably overreacting a little bit just because they was detangling on my dry hair i should be fine now they're just washing it so we get back there she's telling the, her assistant like um yeah we're gonna wash it and then I was getting the Olaplex treatment. That was literally all I went for was the Olaplex treatment and the trim. No, blow dry and that's it. Send me on my way. But because I was getting a wig installed the next day. Like I just wanted to have my hair professionally prepped before my wig installed. But it just didn't work out that way. But anyway, so we go back to the bowl for me to get my hair washed. And so we go back to the bowl for me to get my hair washed. And... She starts washing my hair. This is the owner at this point. And she's like talking to the assistant and telling her like, oh, but mind you guys, I detoxed my scalp the day that I prepped my hair. So she was trying to show her like, well, this is what the scalp would look like if it needed detox. She doesn't really need her scalp detox. Her scalp looks good. So that right there should tell you that I take care of my hair, right? So wait 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 go back go back so when, when before they start detangling my hair she's like oh you're just here for a treatment and a trim right and i'm like yeah so she asked me she's like when was the last time you had your hair trim i said professionally like have a professional trim it it's been over a year because the last time i got a trim was right before i had my baby girl it was the day of my baby shower i went to get my hair blowed out by another stylist and she trimmed my hair and my daughter is 18 months now so it's been over a year before i got a professional trim but to just have a trim i trim my ends that's what i told her i trim my own ends when i wash my hair it's in many twists and i trim the parts that look ratty i do that at least every three to four months so i knew i didn't need a trim that bad because i literally just 
I, I'm saying like I needed a trim, but I knew I didn't need a bunch taken off because I had just trimmed my ends maybe like two months before I had made this appointment. So anyways, back to the bowl. She's washing my hair, talking to the assistant about my scalp, like how good my scalp looks. So she's like, and whenever you washing them, don't be afraid to tell them to lift up so you can get the beady beads. Who got beady beads? Like, it's just certain words that you don't say when somebody with natural hair is sitting in your chair. And that's not even the worst part. Like, it was just an overall experience. Terrible. Like, an overall terrible experience. Now, don't get me wrong. The stylist, she was really nice. Like, her energy was nice. And her personality seemed nice. But as far as a natural hairstylist, absolutely not. No. So, she's telling the assistant, like, yeah... Uh, make sure you have them lift up so you can get the beady beads in the back and scrub the scalp real good so the she walks away the assistant starts shampooing my hair for the second time so i'm like at this point it's not that bad like they're literally just washing and scrubbing my scalp so i was fine so then she comes back before they go to put the olaplex treatment in and she's like um oh yeah you want to make sure that you're washing in sections and I'm like, okay, she she know her shit a little bit. You should be washing in sections. They make it a lot easier for the products to be distributed, all of that. So yeah, you you know a little bit. So she starts parting my hair, my wet hair, but it was wet, but it hadn't been like it hasn't it had not been wet to the point where the water where my hair was able to fully absorb the water like i could still feel that my scalp was dry like other than my crown of my head where she like literally got on top of it with the sprayer and was spraying my hair the rest of my hair like the middle part it hadn't really like had a chance to absorb the water so she like you gotta um washing this section so put it in four sections and the assistant start doing this she was doing it with a comb and she was like oh no you just take your finger and she started taking her finger down my scalp and literally ripping my hair apart like literally ripping my hair apart like i don't have an easier way to explain it the way i'm saying it that's exactly what she did like took her finger and at this point, they have scrubbed my scalp, so the hair is all tangled and twined into one another. And she's like, yeah, even though her scalp is matted, my hair is not matted. It's not matted. It's curls. I literally just detangle and moisturize my freaking hair two days before this appointment. When I was in the car taking my twist down, my scalp was not matted. I'm not the person to have no matted scalp. I wash my hair every week or every other week. Like... I don't know. She just didn't know what the hell she was talking about. Like, she, like, even though her scalp is matted, it's still um, going to be easy for you to just pull it apart. And they're literally putting my hair in the four sections and ripping it. Like, I could literally just hear snap, crackle, pop, snap, crackle, pop. That's what it sounded like while she was parting my hair with her freaking fingers. So I'm damn near like crying at this point. But I'm like, let me suck it up because it's other people in the salon. It's me, the owner, the assistant. It's a lady in there doing nails, doing a, another color lady's nails. And you're talking about me like this in front of this lady. Like, it's bad enough they don't understand our hair texture. But you calling my hair, you talk about I got beady beads and my scalp is matted. Like, I'm just some random person off the street that don't take care of my hair. You don't know how to take care of natural hair, period. Like... Keep it real simple like that and be real with yourself. You don't know how to properly take care of natural hair. So anyways, so then um, they're washing my hair. They put the Olaplex treatment in and they bring like a steam thing over there by the bowl. And, I, and then they both leave me and I'm just sitting there with me and God. And I'm like, teary eye. I'm like, I can't believe I'm putting myself through this. You need to just like, I'm talking to myself in my head. Like, girl, you need to just get up. Your hair is wet. But once you get home, you're going to know what to do with it. Just rinse it out, blow dry, and get ready to get your wig installed. But I'm like, no. Then that's going to be causing a scene because she going to want to fight. Because I'm not going to want to pay. Like, Or I could just pay the full service and be like, I'm sorry, but... This ain't what I thought it was and leave, but 
all of this is going on in my head, but I'm still sitting there like, so after the steam is over, they rinse it out. At no point did they detangle my hair in the sink. And I feel like that's a major red flag because that is detangling my hair while it's soaking wet or underwater. The water literally like detangles my hair. Like it literally detangles my hair. I run my fingers through it and do some finger detangles. And then I brush through with the comb to get like the small knots or tangles that I miss with my fingers. But like at no point did was my hair detangled in the water. So then I go, I'm done with the wash process. I go back up to the front. The assistant is going section by section, section trying to detangle my hair. And when I tell you it hurt so bad, like it literally hurt so bad. I, I can't even like... <laughs> it was just horrible and she and she was having such a hard time but at this point i'm sure she was because my hair wasn't tangled when i got there but the way that they were washing and scrubbing my scalp and not detangling throughout the process i'm sure at this point it was overly tangled like so she's having a hard time and she's detangling my hair with like at no point did i see like a wide tooth comb none of the tools that I use whenever I'm detangling my hair. So she had like one of those small detangling brushes, but I only use that in my hair if my hair is once again soaking wet because if not, it'll snag and pull. So she's detangling my hair and she's having a hard time. So then the owner of the shop comes and she starts trying to show her how to properly detangle my hair. And with her in my head, like the assistant was trying to be soft and gentle. Like I could feel that from her, but or she wasn't even trying to be soft and gentle and literally just didn't know what to do with my hair. But she, her movements and the way she was handling my hair was more gentle than the shop owner who was teaching her her techniques. Like when she get in my head, time is money like she trying to hurry up finish the tangling you get you done and get you out of the chair so they both on one on this side yanking my head this way the other one on this side yanking my head this way so they both detangling me and i'm just sitting here like i really can't believe i'm putting myself through this but I, i'm sitting here we done made it this far so i just gotta see it through my boy i gotta see it through at this point so while they detangling my hair another one of her customers walks in right so she walks in, she gets silk presses all the time. That's what I assume from how they handled her when she came in. Like she come in, she got her hair in the silk press, but it's up in a bun and she's talking to the owner, telling her about what she want. The owner asked her the same thing as me. When was the last time you had a trim? Like, girl, you just want to cut everybody's hair off. You just want to cut everybody's hair. That's what I'm getting from it. So she like, when was the last time you had a trim? I'm listening to their conversation. So she like, all right. So she tells the assistant while the assistant is doing my hair and my jaw, it's another colored lady and not a colored lady, but it's another lady in this salon that don't understand our culture. So just put it that way. So she tells the assistant in front of everybody like, oh yeah, I'm a, I, we can switch. I'm gonna have you uh, go ahead and take her to the wash bowl. And um, I'll just take her because I know that's a lot. That was a lot to deal with. And the assistant is like, oh, yeah, I definitely agree. It's a lot. Y'all supposed to be, well, not y'all, but you're supposed to be a natural hairstylist. Natural hair should not be a lot to deal with if you know how to deal with it. Because I don't have a problem doing my own hair or anybody else's hair because I know how to take care of natural hair. Like, so I don't know, y'all. So we switch then i go sit down in the owner shop and she go to blow dry my hair like like i said time is money i could tell by the way that she was handling my hair she just wanted to hurry up and get me out of there and mind you i literally didn't go for nothing but a wash and a trim like all that i went there for so she blow dry my hair and it's giving very much angry mom the night before easter like she yanking and pulling and then my head going this way and she pushing my head back like you gotta stay right here because when you pull it's gonna make me yank your head you're yanking my head honey that's why it's all the way down here i can't keep it still because you strong arming my shit like 
I don't get it. <laughs> like, how you want me to keep my my neck ain't that strong. You going hard on my hair and my neck ain't that strong. So she blow drying it and my hair is just flying all over the place. It was just a horrible freaking experience. So when she's done blow drying my hair, now mind you, she's not, she didn't detangle my hair before she put the blow dryer in it. And that's another big thing for me. Like I make sure I spray my hair down with some more water and get all the extra kinks out before I go in to stretch it with the blow dryer. I don't use the blow dryer to detangle my hair cause that's not what it's for. It's used to stretch your hair that's already detangled but to her she was using the blow dryer to detangle my hair so the shit hurt the, it hurt it was hot like i was just going through too much at this point i'm like sitting there these ladies are staring at me so she finished blow drying my hair and she like all right well i'm done blow drying it now um let me show you where i'm gonna do your trim at so this is where the 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 horror story starts so she like, all right, um, I'm, I'm going to put this piece of paper behind your hair and I'm going to show you where the trim is going to start. I'm like, all right. At this point, I'm irritated. My energy was probably all off, but that's not even me. Like, I'm not even that type of person. I'm the most happiest, bubbliest person that you will meet regardless of what's going on. But I just couldn't through that process. Like, so she like, I'm going to show you. She, we get in the mirror. She shows me like, she like about an inch needed cut off, right? I'm like, cool, all right. So we go to sit down. And the way that she even started my trim, I should have knew something was wrong. Like she parted it in the back, put the rest up in the ponytail, and blue dropped my hair again. And then she started the trim. Then she cut it, uh, parted it around again, blow dried it down. Then she started the trim. She did the same thing all the way up. Then it made a middle part right here and did the same thing on the sides. I'm guessing it was uneven. So then she went from the middle of my head and she brushed it down, like how we used to get the doobies and you get ready to wrap your hair up for the night. She brushed it all down and she literally just cut around in a circle. So then at that point I knew like, and I could hear like, the commentary that was happening behind my head between her and the assistant, I just knew like she was cutting off way more than what the fuck we agreed to, like way more. So, um, damn, what happened after that? Okay, so she spin me back around. She set her camera up. Like she really thought she did her big one. She really thinks she popped her shit like in my head. So we sitting there, she turns her camera on. And you know, usually when a hairstylist is recording the hair after a haircut, it's like split down the middle. She had my shit on the side, like a side part. And then she was like feathering this part out. Like that's how I knew it was fucked up because why a side part? And it's all the way down here. So you got this part here and this part flipped over this way and you like feathering it out into my face. And I, I, I'm going to see if I can go in there because I blocked her. I think she blocked me because it got even crazier, like, after the hair appointment. So, she feathering it. She thinking she did her shit, like, recorded. And so, when she hand me the mirror, she like, um, all right, girl, you all done. It's still, like, on the side. So, soon as she hand me the mirror, I take my finger down the middle and I'm, like, pulling this part down, pulling this part and she gonna be like, yeah, see, it's all even. No, the fuck it's not. And I'm gonna insert a picture and show y'all what it looked like after I left the shop. Like, I, that night I, break, I twisted it up. I gave myself two twists before my wig install. I moisturized my hair and gave myself two twists. And when I took the twist down, it looks decent because the choppy ends are tucked away. But my hair is choppy as fuck. And uh, I guess a girl that's in cosmetology school, she said that she gave me steps. That's how she cut my hair. I don't know what the hell that mean. Steps obviously mean choppy as fuck because your girl gave me the chopper style special. Like, <laughs> I'm going to show y'all the picture and then I'm going to record some videos of me taking my hair down because it's in braids right now. I took my wig off, but yeah. So I'm pissed off. I get in the car immediately. Of course, I call my husband because I'm a big crybaby. I call him and I'm telling him, I'm like, she fucked my hair up. I send him the pictures 
and I had made a video before I went into the salon and I was and I'll insert it somewhere so you guys can see it yourself but I made the video and I was basically saying like I'm just going in for a wash and trim hopefully don't nobody get scissor happy yada 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 and then I insert the picture of how my hair looked after I left the shop it was horrible so I made that real and I posted it on my Facebook um, on my Facebook reels she posted her video and I guess my husband found her and his family found her and they was in the comments like not harassing her but she was making it like oh all dead ends gone uh so, like basically saying my hair was super d damaged when i know that was not the case like so they was in the comments saying whatever they were saying so she texts me y'all and she's like i don't know what the hell going on i'm getting ready to leave for vacation i'm doing my daughter's hair she texts me she's like i'm taking you and your husband to court uh for defamation of my business and harassment and i'm like what the hell is she talking about so i call him i'm like what happened and he was like i put your reel in her comment section and she deleted it and blocked me i guess she mad but baby girl don't be trying to make it seem like you did this amazing job when i wasn't happy like and yes, I should have said something, but like I said, I choose my battles wisely because I know my temper. I don't know that lady. Like, so I'm going to pop off in this lady's salon about her fucking my hair up. We get into a fight. Now I'm going to jail and I can't go on vacation or can't get home to see my kids. Not on my watch about no hair that I know I can grow back. Like, I just wasn't doing that. So anyways, um... Like I said, I posted my video on my Facebook Reels. And if you ain't following me on Facebook, you should be. But I posted that on my Facebook Reels and my Instagram. And you should be following me on Instagram too, Denise Towler underscore. But um, I posted it there. And like I said, he posted it in her comment section. So from my name, she was able to find me because my real name is not Denise that's my middle name but she was able to find me on facebook she comes into my comment section now mind y'all this vi this video has like 500 likes it's over 300 comments it didn't got shared more than en enough time so i guess she searched me up because my profile is public i'm a, a beauty creator or a content creator on there so anybody can find my page so she comes in the comments and she like oh if you wanted to troll then that's all you had to say whose intentions was to troll i love my hair if i had any idea that my hair was going to look how it did when i left your shop or i was going to be treated the way that i was treated in your shop i would have never came i don't troll people i don't do that that's not my character like i even posted the shit and didn't tag your company i didn't say your name you got in my comment section and made yourself known by trying to get a clap back like i wasn't clapping at you i said what i said i wasn't a happy customer and as a business owner you gotta learn to have some tough skin everybody not gonna be satisfied with the services that you provide them you're gonna argue with everybody and take everybody to court like come on now girl that it's impossible it's literally impossible but she's like if you wanted to troll just say that you're delusional who's really delusional who's really delusional i have a following on facebook instagram tiktok i have a following so you seen that i posted about a service that you provided even though i didn't tag you i didn't say your name or nothing and you commented on it you made yourself known so who's really delusional you or me i think it's you ma'am but anyway she's like um you just wanted some content congratulations like girl i still to this day don't know who you are i just happened to find your instagram page i thought you did good natural hair and you don't and i wasn't happy about it so i said something on my social media what's the like 
I don't get it. I just don't get it. So she's steady going back and forth with me. She talking about how I don't take care of my hair as a grown up. I need to take responsibility for not taking care of my hair and allowing it to get like that. Girl, I do my hair. I wash my hair weekly. Every week. Detangle, moisturize, all of that. Like I if it's nothing else in this world that I don't know that I know how to do, it's take care of my natural hair. I just can't give myself a professional trim, but I will never go sit down in somebody else's shop for them to do my trim ever again. Like ever. Unless you work on like if you don't do Beyonce's natural hair, I don't want you to touch me. Period. If sister knows I ain't sitting in your seat, I don't want you to touch me or come nowhere near my head with no scissors. I will do it myself. I don't give a damn how I split my ends get. I'm going to do it myself, period. And that's what everything, except for wigs. Wigs is the only thing that I don't really know how to do yet, but I'm going to learn how to do because... I just don't want nobody in my head no more. Like, I just don't. You don't know what people's motives are. Like, you just have no idea. So, I'm through with it. It's a lot more, like, <laughs> I hope this girl really don't plan on taking me to court. Because if that's the case, I'm countersuing her ass for PTSD and trauma. 100% sure. I'm countersuing her ass because... So, that is the full story to my natural hair whore my natural hair horror and like i said i'm going to start the 30 day challenge with you guys i'm gonna make a facebook page where we can all come together and talk and discuss about how good or bad the journey is going for us 30 days starting in june i want everybody to learn how to take care of their own hair if you guys are um blessed enough to have natural hair salons in your state or your city that really truly know how to do your natural hair then you was one of god's favorites i just want you to know that like because everybody ain't that beneficial me definitely i'm not that beneficial so for the girls like me that you don't trust nobody in your hair and you still trying to figure it out we're going to do this 30 day natural hair challenge and I'm going to teach y'all how to do it yourself. You ain't got to pay nobody to learn how to do your hair. Your hair. And let me just say this. Our hair is not a lot of work. Wash day is not stressful. Like, I hate that narrative. I want us to stop with that. Like, even though we do it for fun, laughs, giggles, ha ha. But we not making ourselves the butt of the joke no more. Wash day is a part of self-care day. Period. It's nothing more rewarding than just really truly taking care of your crown. Your hair is your crown. So if you guys are ready to get on this 30 day challenge with me, tap in in the comment section, like, comment, and subscribe and share to anybody else that you think would want to be on this hair journey with us. Because no, I'm not saying that your hair is about to be given Rapunzel after 30 days, but however, after these 30 days, you are going to know how to properly take care of your hair if you don't know how to take care of it right now or if you feel like your hair is dry and no matter what products you use something just always ain't right with your hair we're gonna get you back on the right track so tap in let's do this together i'm doing it with y'all i'm probably gonna post the video tomorrow of me taking my braids down because I've seen my hair. I haven't seen my hair wet. So I want to take my hair down. And when did I, I went to my appointment. It's been over seven days. So I like to, after seven or 10 days, your hair don't even hold water no more. So I'm going to probably be washing my hair tonight or tomorrow and giving myself a deep treatment. So yeah, be looking forward to that. And thank you guys for watching and I will definitely be back with another video.